get start there. streaming. Let's give it a second. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tulane Live. And tonight it's the late show. What's happening, boys? <laughs> we are late. We well, are. We're late. gonna have to announce a couple things throughout this live, but I wanted to talk before we get started into kind of the Yellowstone and product. We've got a couple really cool things that are going to happen. Um, we're going to start this, what, what do we call it? Fast, what do we call it? Fridays? Uh, Feature Bike Friday. Feature Bike Friday. So Josh has set up an email, a Gmail account, and that, that email is what, Josh? Well, let me double check. I got some notes here real quick. Let me read it off to you. We got Featured Bike Friday. You're going to send in a video with you and your bike sharing your bike story and your location, 30 second max. You're going to send that to Featured Bike Friday at gmail.com. We'll put that down in the description. Uh, basically, every Friday, we'll choose one and share it on our Instagram stories. So you can put your name, your bike's name, if it has one, year and make, how many miles, your location, and the story of your favorite ride. Uh, we will put all of the information in the description here after the fact. And uh, you yeah, know. That, that should be really cool. I mean, we had a viewer, this was probably three or four months ago, saying, hey, it'd be cool to have these guys on your show. But I think this is going to be an easier way to manage the content and be able to show off and showcase people's bikes that are out there, right? Hell yeah. So that so way, they're featured they're bike Fridays at gmail.com. Uh, no, that's featured bike Friday, featured at bike Friday at gmail.com. So that will be somewhere where we feature the bikes yep. and their videos. I mean, what a great way to bring to have you got, yeah, bring it really into the Heck whole yeah. deal. And you've been <clears throat> clamoring for the last few weeks about what event do you want to have? Well, I think it would be great, and we are going to do it. We are going to, July 29th, yep. we are going to have a worldwide toast and a shot with all of you because that's kind of like a thing where we get asked to do toast. So we're going to do it and share it with the world. And what we want is we want everyone to send in their short 15 to 30 second shot. It could be a picture. It could be a video, but send it in. To, are we going to have an we'll, email? We'll for set that? up another email for yeah, that. Yeah, we'll probably set up another email. And we'll make sure we announce that uh, on all the various channels. So maybe we can have a shot with all of you around the world yeah. simultaneously, and that's to kick off Sturgis. So we'll have to make sure our live right. goes off at the right time, and we should put a time when we want right. to do the shot. Right. For sure. Well, you know, we can hop on. Do the normal stuff and say, hey, you know? half an hour in. Yeah. We're gonna, so we're are you into it. it? You guys want a worldwide shot and have a shot with us? Hey. July 29th. This should be pretty fun. So it stay tuned. Be. Tell your friends. We'll keep you posted on Instagram, all of our channels, and here so you can be informed. Yeah, so we'll we'll send <clears throat> some of those pictures back out via story. Yes. So And maybe some of the shorts. We'll see what happens. But yeah, could we'll, be pretty cool. And we'll share it. Again, with everyone, all the different people having shots with us. Stoked. So those are two great programs. Yeah, awesome. I like it. Awesome. I like it. So, you know, we just got back from this trip, right? Right. Yeah, pretty rad trip. Let's, uh... How many miles did we do? It was about 3,000. So 3,000 3, miles. We did seven states in 10 days, even though we had probably four days of chilling in different places. Having a good time and doing little rides. But, yeah. But chilling. Yeah, it was uh, it was a great time. I mean, I going to the Bell Brawl and, and meeting Jen and Rick uh, at Legends, this museum in Springville, Utah. You've got to go check this place out. They've got a bar, they've got a restaurant, they've got a museum. Um, it's just a really kind of unique place that that Rick has built. You know, it's pretty cool, and they treated us like gold, uh, VIP status all the way. Bell treated us like gold as well. We got yeah, to hang Brett out. Yeah, was was awesome that was great love you brett yep and so the next day we actually met some people and we met a lot of people at the at the brawl took a lot of pictures i think josh went he said the other day on instagram kissing babies i mean that's yeah we were doing some of that well, actually. i posted that on instagram post where there's probably 10 pictures yeah. of different people we've met so it was very cool got to spend a little time with kaylin hadn't seen her for a couple of years um which was which was fun to do um but a couple riders from that evening wanted to run Mount Nebo with us. And so we did the Mount Nebo loop. 
uh, and actually my brother-in-law and his father actually rode with us as well. They they did last year 48 states in 10 days. Yes, yes. Pretty crazy. But that was a fun run. Um, Ryan and Amanda and Ron and all these. Uh, and then we ended up going to, so we did that, went to Park City and met uh, Rocky Mountain Rider, Adam Thurman. One of our first subscribers. One of the first subscribers and one of the guys that first bought parts from us. Yes. So that was that was pretty cool. Um, I actually went back to our first drop the other day and started looking at all the comments. <laughs> There's there are a lot of people that have been with us for a lot of for um, since we started that first drop. Wow. I mean CC83. Right. Uh, Ty Ham and CBO Ty. I mean there's there are a lot of family. Shaws. Family. I mean it was amazing. You know it's it's really great stuff and we saw some great stuff. I mean I forgot and we did so much stuff and we were gone so long that when we talked about the Bell Brawl it was like Yeah. Oh yeah, we were we there. Did that. You know. <laughs> I forgot I thought that was another trip ago, but, but it was this trip. After Park City went Immigration Canyon, which was a nice little ride dropped into the top of Salt Lake City there. Um, ended up trying to book a hotel, didn't get it, so we ended up staying at the iconic Little America. That was dope. Which you guys kind of were thinking was pretty cool. I dug it. Yeah. I dug it. I dug it. I dug doing a <laughs> little tour around uh, Salt Lake City. We rode around all the, the streets and the and the grid, and Galen would tell us about when he was a kid, what he did there, here, there, everywhere. And so we kind of got our own little history of Salt Lake City, which was really cool. Yeah, it was fun to run you guys through there. We did the avenues, went by the Capitol. Yeah. Took a couple pictures yeah. up there. That sign wall with yeah. all the signs. Oh, yeah. You know, that was, that was cool. But So uh, the next morning, we pick up the ladies at the airport, and right. we're on our way to Jackson Hole. And uh, we stopped up in Logan, Big uh, Bear Lake uh, up there. Not Big Bear, but Bear Lake. Um, you guys got to try a little raspberry um, shake up there, which, you know, I don't well, know. Jackson Hole was really cool because we got to see the antler arches. Yep. Um, another cool thing there is we walked into a knife shop. I got my knife sharpened. And when I walked in and, and Gail and I were talking to the people, they knew, knew what my knife maker was. Yep. So we did a whole thing. We got a story on that. So you're going to see that store. And the great thing is, is Galen got to put on a full bison pelt coat. It was $5,000 with the head rest and the, the, the antlers sticking out. I the think horns. I need to run that, man. Yeah, you know, that was the Grizzly Adams uh, deal. Yes. I'm also realizing now that the camera is focusing on those things on the table and not your faces. But you know what? It's probably clear enough for the people. Well, then we'll go like this. Well, why don't we just take them down for a minute? <laughs> How's that? And we'll bring them up as we... A little better. Let's um, all right. Well, hey. Low aperture. We'll talk about these things in a minute. Boom. Look at that. Crispy. They were there wow. to talk about. You know. We'll bring them back up in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that was cool. And... and um, we really didn't ride much after we got to Jackson. We went over to the gondola. I'm sorry the tram wasn't running. It's not uh, it's under repair this summer. But we still got up on the gondola, and we are up at about 10,000 feet. We had a beer and a waffle just looking out over the whole Jackson Valley. Right. Amazing. Amazing. Ama good weather. Yeah. Perfect weather the whole trip. It was pretty darn good. You know, that, that was really great. Um, we had a great dinner, and then... The next day, we took off and went over to the cabin, and uh, we did some riding and some stuff there, which was really kind of cool. Had a great lunch on the river, sitting at the uh, the uh, Snake River, Henry's Fork. Uh, it was it was awesome. Yeah. Uh, got up to the cabin, had a good time, went into the park the next day, and we spent the entire day roaming around the park. Yeah, that was definitely Yellowstone. Wow. Uh, what side was it? around the lake the other side is that the west side the that would east be the side east, more the east yeah you're heading out towards the east entrance the east side of yellowstone i mean he he, he talks about this we went passed over there and i just said this is just like dances with wolves all over again a meandering river green bison everywhere we have a close-up of one that was near the road that got a little little ornery with yeah us, he but. was he was uh <laughs> Did a little snort and a little uh, yeah, a little hoof, dance, little hoof uh, scratch yeah. there. So but, that was. But really that area is canyon, so we cut through. Instead of keeping down with the lake, we cut up through canyon area, which that's where we drop in and see all this beautiful. And we saw a bunch of bison in there. Yeah. 
um, spectacular. We, we said we'd try to get him at least one bison. Uh, so we stopped first thing in the park because we saw a couple, but right. they were a little ways away. Yeah. Um, but we got you up close and personal to a few of them. There were several, several. Pretty cool. I mean, if you watch the, la- the drop that dropped yesterday with all the sea lion on the beach, yeah. that's about how many bison we saw. Yeah, I mean, we <laughs> probably saw two or 300 head. Yeah. Um, but also, you know, it, it's a really cool place, that Yellowstone area. It's very special to me. But you just think about it. It's one of the most active thermal places on the earth. And you get to see these geysers and these pools and these femorals where the fumes come out and these paint pots where they're popping up mud and colored yeah. mud. It was just like you're on a different planet. Old Faithful did uh, a really good job this time. Yeah, Josh and I got to see it twice. Sure yeah. did. I um, think uh, I was uh, chasing the women down. They were shopping in, in the bathroom. and Wherever they were. I'm like, were you guys in the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> I go, you guys just missed... So now we got to, we got to, well, what did we do? We, we had to wait for an hour. Yeah, we got, got some ice cream. We got some ice cream. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. Yellowstone ice cream, you know. I don't know if it was really Yellowstone ice yes. cream. Yes. Huckleberries. You know. <laughs> Taking karate chops at <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, buddy. Um, and after Yellowstone. Uh, yeah, we cruised. We were trying to get down to my nephew's wedding. Um, Never made it. We didn't get there. We, we, I sh- wanted to show you guys, um, Upper Mesa Falls. That was incredible. And I think we spent a little more longer time there because we got some just insane drone shots. Yeah, wait till you see what uh, Gilbert did. And we're trying to include our bodies actually in some of these drone shots, our bikes, our bodies, for one reason and one reason only. Not that we're good looking or anything, and we want you to see that, but well, <laughs> we want you to know that it's not stock footage purchased off the internet yeah this is the real deal from two lane line right right so don't tell them about the green screen and the bikes on the treadmill right right okay right oh we're live remember the show chips that's uh just (laughs) (laughs) Um, real quick apoc 82 is the pacific coast trip series over no it is only halfway through we got two more episodes headed your way we actually spent a couple days in carmel yeah which i guess they haven't even seen the ride to carmel yet that's what i'm working on right now we go so, up to the Pines, too. We go up to the Pines. We go to the Hog's Breath restaurant. We did that. Well, you, uh, they, sh- they saw that. We but saw that. They didn't we, see the Hog's Breath. Yeah. Did yeah. They didn't see Alice's. Alice's. So Alice's. that's up in Redwood okay. uh, yes. area. We, we had uh, a couple people tell us, um, which is what I love about this channel. Right. Like, we get a DM, and someone says, yep. get out of Santa Cruz, because we planned on maybe just going up there and hanging out at that beach town, college beach town there. Um Take the nine to the thirty-five, and and you're gonna run through the redwoods. And Incredible. wow, what a ride that was! Yes, and yes. we had the fog down, and sometimes up, and it was just what a. I mean, I couldn't see for yeah. Seriously, I couldn't see for a little while. <laughs> right. So um, that was great, but you know that's gonna be four episodes. I'm I'm thinking right at this point, we maybe four on the yeah, Pacific it's Coast. Be four. Yeah. But this Yellowstone run. Oh, I can't wait. And the seven states, and this could be an eight to ten episode, but it, the, where we went, I mean, we've been places on this series that we haven't been before. Well, we've been, we just never filmed it. Mm-hmm. You and I have been in Yellowstone. But, but we haven't been to uh, the backside going into Bishop through uh, no, 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 were, no, right. You but, know. but yes, we have been to Yellowstone and the cabin. Yeah, I mean, there's but there's just stuff we haven't documented. So right. we know we got a couple of people saying get out of Utah, but it's like, <laughs> look, well, our stuff is pretty damn good, and so yeah. right. there's a just one state alone. There's so much riding to do. We like, can stay in a state for a year. Like Arizona, we we just found Salt River Canyon right. last year, and, and we've, we've been, been going, riding in right. Arizona for years. Ten years? Yeah, at least. So, so what do you got? Any comments or any <laughs> who's on? Now, well, we got APOC 82. We got the Traveler. We got Eric, uh, H1HD Tech, All right. Frank J, Charlie Williams. Um, it doesn't show everyone. It just shows people that are commenting. But, you know, okay. um, yeah, APOC 82 is stoked for the Yellowstone series. It's, um, you'll be, you'll dig it. We got an up close and there, a bison came into the uh, the little uh, visitor center area, too. That yeah. thing was huge. <laughs> Just chilling, eat, eat some <laughs> yeah. vegetation. You know? Very huge. Um, Traveler says the U.S. is saturated with dope footage. Well, 
that's what our job is to capture it. Right, so. right. And you know, um, we we kind of were real lucky with the heat on this trip too, because we kind of watched the maps. We went in through St. George and, and got up into uh, Salt Lake. It was a little bit warm, but on the way home, we knew it was going to be 115 to 118. So that's when we decided to go through the top or the middle of Nevada, which was only in the 90s. So, it w- and we found new places. The two lanes out there mm-hmm. were, you know, they no, say. it was beautiful. What do they say? The Highway 50 is the loneliest highway in America? Right, but I don't think we're on the 50. I know. That's what I was going to say. The 6 was almost, oh. that was really well, lonely. What's funny is we had that question about the loneliest road in America, or highway, whatever. And when we looked it up, it said there's no section where gas is more than 80 miles away. Right. But when we were on that road and I was out of gas, on the, six. the bike said I was at, on the 93, on the right? 93. Or was that the 6? 93. 93. I'm guessing that was a little more than 80 miles in between gas stops. So um, we might have to get that name changed. Yeah, we'll yeah. have to check that out. Um, but country we haven't seen. Yep. Yes. Um, and went into Ely. That or Eli, however you want to say it, but we went, we went Wendover, Eli, Ely, uh, and then out to what was Coaldale where we had the well before Coaldale. Uh, while we were at the cabin, Galen turns his movie on. He goes, You got to watch this movie, The Fastest <laughs> Indian. Yeah, world's fastest Indian, Anthony Hopkins. True story. So he set the land speed record on a, a thousand cc, I think it was a thousand cc at 200 over Indian. 200 miles yep. an hour. Yeah. So then we go to uh, the Bonneville Salt Flats. Yep. So it kind of all tied into. Did you worked. plan that? I kind of did. <laughs> oh. No, I just thought you'd like the movie. It was a great movie. My you dad must loved it. the movie. There's a lot of. I mean, he's a character. Burt yeah. Monroe. Yeah. Burt Monroe, eh? Burt Monroe. The town yeah, didn't believe he can do from it. From New Zealand. But he did it. He did know? it. He became well, a hero. It's funny. The, the whole story is, you know, oh. the way he got. He was just an old school writer. Right. And, and a he, mechanic. he ended up going back for like five or six more years. But the 1967 record that he set is still today. It's amazing. Has not been beaten. Wow. So it's still the record today. So that worked out perfect. And yeah. then we ended up there and we did our own speed records on the Bonneville Salt Yes, we did. <laughs> sure did. You'll see that in one of the vlogs. And um, I was I was just going to say the same deal. We watched the movie and then my buddy Walker, who I've known from pretty much my whole life, he was telling me, hey, are you guys going to hit up the Bonneville Salt Flats on the way home? We didn't plan for the weather quite yet at that point. And then we ended up hitting it up and he was all stoked and... <laughs> movie recommendation this and that we had a good time right you know? well we got a little jammer going on there we got a little jammer going it right. was pretty you fun know? we got up to like 80 <laughs> about yeah <clears throat> so I mean, it wasn't it wasn't bad. i was hitting 60 in the mushy parts and that was sketchy yes yeah, especially that, just but when you got it, on that hard pack yeah that was that was a little easier um <laughs> well i i got up to like I think 220 miles an hour on the street above it. You <laughs> did. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. But, yeah, that was really cool. So that was before right. what you were saying when we got into uh, Eli and all that. We yep. had a great little Mexican lunch in uh, yeah. Eli, right? Ely. 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 I guess Eli. you can say Eli. Well, I Ely. asked the people at the gas station, and they said it's whatever you want to say. I'm sure that there's a purist out there. That will tell us what it is. Right. Just like if you say Prescott, Arizona, oh, people are saying you don't say Prescott. You gotta say Prescott. Even though it's looks like Prescott. Uh, no, you gotta yeah. it's Prescott. Yeah. So talk about your shot thing again. July uh, 29th. Ju- July 29th, worldwide shot. We want every one of our subscribers to do a shot simultaneously with us to kick off Sturgis. And then send us a picture or a video of your shot so we can post them. Yeah, we'll, we'll uh, send an email out for that as we talk about it and bring the hype up. We'll also do some little we'll uh, Instagram yeah. things and community. And then what are we doing on Fridays? Um, on Fridays, for those that are just hopping on, we're doing a featured bike Fridays. And uh, we're basically going to have people share their stories with us in video form, talking about them, their bike, where they live, this and that. We've set up a custom email so that you guys can send all that to one email and we don't get lost. And then every Friday on Instagram, we will be posting that. Sharing you. Just sharing stories, sharing, uh, you know, bringing the motorcycle community together. 
Um, so after the live, we will put all the information for that in the description, bio, whatever you want to call it for the video. Stay tuned. We'll also put up a story on Instagram tonight because so, tomorrow is Friday. So if you yeah. don't, if you don't follow us on Instagram, we've got Two Lane Life. Um, we've got what's your handle over there? Well, two Lane J. Two Lane J. The number two Lane Life. And Two Lane J. With a two? Yep. With a two. I'll, all right. I'll put them all and what's here. your handle? Big Lance C. And mine is Xerox 57. 57. So we're trying to bridge so that we can get both Instagram and YouTube together. And I think this is a great way for people to right. be showcased on our channel and talk about their bike and what they really love about it and maybe their favorite trip or their favorite ride. But we need it within 30 seconds so we can post it as a story. You know, yeah, so. two stories, whatever. But, you know, give it your all. Give it your flavor. Do your deal. That's yeah. all we want. Some, exactly. some real be stuff. Be yourself. Yep. And I'm legally obligated to tell you that it has to be your first take. There is no reruns. <laughs> we, want, we want the real you. Right, the real, the real you. you. Don't stage it. Um, let's see. These comments are piling up, shall we? Yep. Yes. Let's see. Humble, humble Greek. Josh, I wish I knew how to do what you do, brother. Um I learned on YouTube, so you can too. I taught him everything he knows. Yes, he did. Uh, um, I gave him 14 hours of training. There yes. you go. Um, let's see. Bee's Bike. What up from Michigan? Love the travel videos. Yo. Right on, man. Uh, we got Glock Holiday. Love that name. Yeah. Um, I would love to ride in Yellowstone. We'll make it out. Yeah, it make it happen. Mind-blowing. Yes. Uh, Humble Greek. How flat was Texas? Flat. flat. There was some hill country, but it Until was Until we got to the hill country. Yo. The hill country was fun. Um, yes. Also, let's raise a drink for Mr. Nathan O. Finally leaving Afghanistan today, brothers. Can't wait to hit the road All back right. home. 7th of July, heading back to Boise, to Oklahoma. The Thanks right for on. your service, man. Glad you're coming home. Cheers right to you. Right on. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Nelson saying, hello. We got Charlie Williams. The scenery is better everywhere, dot, dot, dot for a motorcycle there you That's got right. that right oh, yeah and i think i may have met this dude before the one and only kurt crab uh, miss hey. you guys miss you guys at the wedding i'll have to use this beer to marinate some steaks now <laughs> <laughs> yeah buddy oh there kurt. was i forgot about the beer yes i'm yes. on road two you didn't have any there <laughs> no <laughs> yes they did they better not have i it. trust you and then uh hook dog appreciate you guys you give so much for so many next trip will be highway 89 up to bend oregon over to portland Ooh. and then down the pch1 not doing sturgis this year oh that's thanks a hook great, dog that's a great run take your own lane do your own deal we got riding with yogurt riding with yogurt He's in the house got home shannon how did that adjustment work let us know uh, well shannon he breaks off uh reflectors, reflectors. on the highway <laughs> yeah he's, yes don't tell him that. <laughs> We've got... Uh, There's video footage on the internet. Department right. of Transportation is monitoring yes. us. They're going to yes. be suing him for reflector re That's removal. That's at least $12. Yeah. yeah. Come on <laughs> so one thing that was kind of cool um, that we didn't talk about, Kirk and his um, his father, Ralph. Ralph was a retired motor cop from Orem City. So he brought us three patches uh, which was cool. We were in Jackson Hole and we saw two sheriffs walking down the boardwalk there, clinkety clink on the on the wood boardwalk there, which is really cool. And asked them, you know, told them about Two Lane Life and what we do and how we support, you know, our brethren from service, uh, whether that's armed forces, whether that's firemen and women, whether that's police officers. Um, and they said, hey, I said we have a patch wall. They said go down to the right. station and get a patch. So you got, we walked in, we filmed one of them. Yeah, so you'll see um, that in one of the videos. We got the sheriff's, uh, and it's a really cool looking patch. And then happens that the police station is right next right. to the sheriff's office. So we walked into the police station and. Well, we walked into the police station after we got out of jail. Yeah, we had, that's, <laughs> well, we walked short, into the it was sheriff's a short stay, but we got bail money. <laughs> but right. both places had their own patches going on. Right. So pretty damn cool. The patch wall is growing. We yeah. have. Probably 25 patches now from South Dakota to Arizona, all over. All so over. Keep them coming. Tell your friends to send them to us. And it was pretty cool to walk into the, the sheriff's station. Really had a lot of patches. Right. But L.A., L.A. SWATs. Right. I mean, L.A. sheriffs. I mean, it was pretty NASA. cool to see that. Well, we've got NASA, yeah. yeah. They didn't have NASA. No. And, in fact, Justin and, and uh, 
has been talking about maybe getting us up there. One, not my Justin, Justin from NASA. Right. Uh, and Phil, I believe, is. Uh, we're talking about maybe getting us in there. And they said Gilbert could actually fly in the hangar where Whoa. they keep where they used to keep the shuttle. Wow. Yeah, it's a huge. Yeah. Change. So it should be cool. Do a little race around track Gilbert or could something. Do it. You know. Yeah. I remember painting. Uh, I think it was Lockheed. Yeah. Up on the hangars, uh, probably 30 years ago. I didn't like it because you were way up high. Way so up high. So we'll talk about Rockford in just a minute. But as um, we were up at the Live Fast rally and met Mike from Cardo and started having a discussion about, you know, things that were happening. And, and he, within a few days, ended up getting us some Cardo headsets to try out. Right. And I, for one, was simply amazed. I could not believe that we could be, we got, at one point, we were like a mile and a half, two miles apart, and, <laughs> and we still, could still talk. It's very simple. You turn it on, and your friends are right there with you talking. Yeah, and what I liked is the music feature. So you're, when we're not talking, the music was playing, and then right. when we start talking, it, it mutes it. Yep. Um, and comes right back to it. I mean, it was they were just amazing and how easy they were to operate. Right. Solid, easy, uh, no problems, no issues. Not one. Not yeah. one. I mean, when we were, we were heading out of town, and I wasn't sure if you mentioned it or not, but we were planning on leaving at noon, and right. these didn't show up right. until like 11. <laughs> no, you. We had orders. We had stuff going on. We didn't nope. leave till 3, so we got to charge them up, this and that, and we're on the freeway just tripping out because yeah. we're all listening to our own music. And then you don't got to press any buttons. You don't got to wait for feedback, whatever. You just listen to music and you talk. And when you stop talking, your music comes back. And it was just so intuitive and, is the and best word. Phone I calls. I had a bunch of phone calls you come in. And I, I didn't even, it, yeah. it just worked. You know? That was only because it was a work day. Believe yeah. me. When, when it's not during the week, we left during the week, we wouldn't be getting phone calls. And, well, but I will say this. The, the one problem with these units right here is they're so good we don't shut up and we keep talking to each other the whole trip well that's a good problem but, but you press but the dial create, for two seconds and it, i continue it's, you guys it's out. kind of i just was like but kidding you with that but because you create characters with it yeah they're so good we have like talk shows the whole time we're riding yeah, i mean this is what our creative so but we didn't we we muted our, ourselves on the way home yeah you it can push one button all the way down and then it's only music and no one bothers you, you push it again then everyone's back hanging they're out. they're jbl so. speakers yep so i mean wow pretty and dang clear i i was super stoked on them yeah so so mike thank you for hooking us up i uh, can't wait till you get back from the show uh we'll have that discussion we've been talking about and speaking of speakers so we just got our Rockford Fosgate kits. So we both got them for the road glides. And it's really awesome because this is like a kit for one bike. You got your two speakers. We're only doing fairing speakers. If you do them all, you're going to be blown away. But on our road glides, you do the fairing speakers and you do the amplifier, the Rockford amp. You have to turn it down because it, you can you have that much play with these units, and they got the really cool Rockford uh, screen, and you can you know they're they're putting Rockford Fosgate systems CVOs. on the, the new CVOs. Mm -hmm. So they but this kit is really for CVO or for road glides. It's for street glides. It's for the ultra as well. So right. That's the reason you have so many screens, but it could go on any of those bikes. So yeah, that's like your full jam session right there. And we don't have them on the bikes yet, but you ran for a year with it, a year and a half? Uh, probably two years two with years? this amp and yeah. two speakers on my road glide. And I would get to a point where I would be riding around and my wife would say, hey, can you turn it down? <laughs> so when you hit 90 and 100, if you have the Rockford system, and we're not just saying that, I'm, I'm guaranteeing because I've lived it. Yep. And they work great. They're, they're mind-blowing. Yeah, I can't wait to get them in the bike. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm using primarily the headset, but right. I can't wait to... Sometimes you just want to tool around and listen to the if music. It gives you the option. Yeah. If you don't want to have your headset no, on, I, you got this, 100%. boom. You're, you're, I, I mean, I had the CBO with the, all the speakers and amps, and it got loud, but your your bike was definitely yeah. loud. Right. 
So stoked on that. Yeah. Uh, the amp, awesome. I can't wait to put these in. We'll have them in, and, and we'll turn it up for you guys on an Instagram post. Well, cool, cool. Uh, maybe a couple more comments real quick. Uh, we got Nelson Nunez. I completed the Iron Butt Challenge I told you about last time from Texarkana, Texas, to Deadwood, South Dakota. Nice. It was amazing. Good nice. stuff. Good Fantastic, job, man. Fantastic, man. Um, what See, else we that here? could be sent in to Feature Friday. We can show yeah, that you exactly. did that. Show you exactly. did the deal. Yeah. That's what we want to see. Uh, Louis Torch uh, just got back from a four-day trip, 2,105 miles to Coeur d'Alene. How do you say it? Coeur d'Alene. Coeur d'Alene. Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. As far as gas stations, yes, had the same problem. Praying to find a station <laughs> throughout Oregon, Washington, and Idaho. Yep, been That's there, my some friend. great You'll country up there, though, yeah. too, man. We we can need to do a little bit more of that. Yeah, uh, we've done the gorge and yeah. and across, but we yep. there's some great riding up in Washington and Idaho. Yeah, cool, cool. Then we got Hook Dog. Check out the Guggenheim Motorcycle Museum. It does travel. I saw it in Vegas years ago. Well worth seeing and learning about the motorcycle of history. Nice. We'll have to do that. Um, Hook Dog just sent you a photo on Tulane. Cool. Um, Gregory Eckert, hello from Indiana. I'm heading out to Yellowstone Saturday for the <laughs> sights and Beartooth and Chief Joseph. Uh, How crazy were the crowds and traffic in the park? It was uh, pretty crowded, and there was traffic in the park. He, I mean, on I, the way out. Well, I mean, part of it was they were painting the stripes. Um, <laughs> That's but true. But I will tell you, we, we went, we kind of went in, and we're going to head towards Canyon, went up to Gibson uh, Point or area. Uh, or Gibbons, and then we Gibbon, and then we came back and went into the actual park. It was there was a little bit of traffic. Um, you just have to deal with it. But when you're kind of outside of you know where um, Old Faithful is in that area, you know you're you're going to be okay. Yeah, you can you can do it. It's just you can't pass easy. You got to be mellow in the and, park. You know, we did that one year, and right. so regrettably we. <laughs> but it wasn't that crowded when no, we did. Well, no one was there, cause, okay. right? Yeah. There was a group from New Zealand on motorcycles. <coughs> yeah, but we passed every car. Yes. And I'm sorry, yeah. that was my fault because I was leading, it's and I really probably shouldn't have been doing that. But no. <laughs> I think, in fact, your son came up to me and said. Down, do you feel like an asshole? And I said, why do you say that? And he said, because we pass every one of those cars that's sitting behind us right now while we're stopped for road construction. <laughs> sure like, Thanks, Lance. We got a very competitive group of riders. That, well, it uh, gets a little silly sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Cubanito51. Hi, guys. Would you guys ever do an East Coast series? Well, We are doing it. We are. We are. It is happening. So we plan on being in Maine in September. Sometime um, in September. Yep. So we'll we'll start there, work our way down the states, and then get into New York, maybe get over to Milwaukee. We'll see. We haven't really planned the route. We'll probably do that in, in August. So if, you've got, if you guys have places for us to ride, send them through and let us know. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Anyway. Then we got Nathan saying, thanks, guys. I can feel a few shots of J.D. and beer coming my way. He's the one coming home. All right. Yeah. Um, awesome. Traveler, I have a patch and hope to hand deliver it in Ooh. Sturgis. That'd okay. Be, that'd, that'd be that great. Be rad. Yes. Uh, Bill DeMonch, just watching Adam Sandoval. Sorry I was late. Ooh, is that a burn Whoa. on us? Is that a burn on us? That's all right. Adam's a good I'm dude. Cool. Yeah, we like him. out with Adam. Yeah. Um, Robin the Lady Biker, message retracted. So that, that is gone. <laughs> what? She said something, but it's no longer there. So it's all good. Uh, Robin, Nelson what's Nunez. up, Robin? You say something and then retract it? Uh-huh. Come on. Uh, Nelson, that was the uh, 1K in a day, dude. He said, that challenge was dedicated to my brothers in arms. I'm a, an Iraq war veteran, and I rode for my friends that didn't make it back. Oh. Freedom is not free, my friends. Love it. We get Love you, it. man. Even yes. though Lance and I didn't serve, um, I have family members that we all do have been serving and, and still serve. Um, you have family that's done, and so, you know, we didn't serve, but we have just this passion for America and the flag and the freedom that we have and and our ability to be able to go out and do the things that we want to do because people have given their lives for that, and well, we what, can't ever pay that back. My age, where I fell, it, when I was a certain, I never, there was nothing for me to serve for. Yeah, same with me. You know, it was like... 
But I almost went in. I wanted to be a medic. Yeah. And so I was uh, talking with the Army about going in, and I wanted to become a doctor at some point. Because I was a uh, young kid in Viet- when Vietnam happened. Yeah. And then after that, nothing happened for a long time. Right. You know? so. Funny but story. Hey. I was, no, I was just telling you the other, the other day, I found out my great uncle or something like that was a World War II photographer. Yeah. So they came across all yeah. these photos in a bin, and it was just that's just crazy. crazy. Yeah. And how and and now you're sitting here, memorializing trips around the country and in the country. You know, pretty pretty, wild. pretty crazy. Um, so now Robin the Lady Biker has she's done it. Uh, hey guys, didn't know you were live tonight. Yes, ma'am. We are on the late show tonight. Yes, yes. I uh, I might have forgot some things at home. Had to go to Best Buy. We made it happen. It's all good. <laughs> so if you if you come in late. You can always rewatch it because it'll be sitting there oh, on yeah. the on the YouTube channel. You can watch the whole thing. Well, it's also a good point that she brings up. I mean, we go live every Thursday unless we have a Dingleheimer jammer or trip with, with the Wi-Fi on a trip. Yep. Um, otherwise, we try to go live every Thursday, and, sure and sometimes it varies between four thirty and five thirty. Um, we could probably get better at that. We also go live every Monday at three thirty on Instagram. Well, the thing is, is we have been trying a lot to do it on the road. Yeah. And one, no one will give you their Ethernet plug at all because they think you're going to take their money. Risk. Yes. Uh, and you cannot trust a Wi-Fi when you're streaming with a Sony camera. No, there's too it just much. Doesn't work. It dies in the middle, and so we've had that happen to us. So. Well, that's the, why the data that it's pulling from that camera is pretty significant. So. Yeah. But welcome, Robin. Thanks for joining us. Um, let's see. Let's get to a few more. We got Todd Friedrich, the dad Yo. lad in the house. Yo. Um, humble Greek. I've had my cardo since 2016, and, man, it was the best decision I ever made. Right on. And nice. it's lasted through everything. I mean, it's quality. It is. Yes. Um, the Pack Talk Bold is killer. It lasted almost 21 hours on one charge. That's, wow. That's really? Todd. Well, we um, run ours a long time from, like, 7, 8, 9 in the morning all into the night, and non-stop talking and music but i think i think part of the draw when we're talking and the music i think is it drains that yeah. down a little bit yeah because when we play just music all the way home from bishop yeah it was yeah it was great sure was yeah so but I we did those <laughs> um let's see what is up next yep hit the thumbs up button people appreciate that uh zcap 21 very true those pack talks are awesome i mean i haven't heard any bad things about it. No. So, I haven't either. Um, I've so, had, so Todd said, I've had people tell me that the call quality was better than my phone. So the mic. What's funny is I tried to call people on my previous device, and it was just having some issues. And with this one, we're going 90, 100, yeah, in the funny. middle of the desert in the heat, and they didn't even know I was on a bike. <laughs> so that, that gets Well, I sense. talked to Mike while we were on the bikes. And he's right. like, you're on the bike? And I said, yep. Um, so what, what are we doing tomorrow? What's up next for us? Tomorrow, we're going to have a little bit of a ride day. We're going to go out with uh, Harley Davidson, and they are going to do a, a photo shoot with us for the one of their rare print magazines. Yep, the Enthusiast. That'll be out for, they'll be handing them out in Sturgis. So really the cool thing is, is we're going to go out with Kirpius, and he's going to take pictures of us riding, which... Yeah. It's cool. We're going to be around the Southern California area, just ripping around, having a good time, and be featured in the Harley uh, Enthusiast. Well, and it, it's a digital magazine, but they're doing this one as a special print. Right. Uh, I think they're getting ready for Sturgis, and we may do a little filming yes. related to that as well. But yeah. So should be a fun day. Uh, it'll be very. It's a fun Friday. Yep. <laughs> and then uh, probably no writing until maybe the last week, other than maybe if we do something as a project. Yeah, I mean, it's really interesting um, because we all three ride our motorcycles every single day. We ride to the office studio here. Uh, we go on big, gnarly trips. So it's Well, I should say there's, not, there's no trips really, and, and we may go out the 23rd, right. 22nd, and meet uh, Brennan Matthews from Root Magazine. Right, um, our new favorite. It's a great publication. Yeah, for travel. And, and I get on there, sign on to their Instagram, and I'm, I'm getting these articles every day. I mean, it's really cool about, I, I think the one today was about the, um, oh, where were they? They're in uh, Atlanta in Kansas. 
Their big deal is Route 66. But they had the water tank that they were fighting over who was going to paint what. Yep. And they ended up painting a smiley face on it. There was, uh, <laughs> it's like a it. small town. We drove through it, actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but cool. uh, so it's really cool stories. Yeah, so check that out. But So, like, we don't just get up on a Saturday morning and go, ah, I'm going to go take a little ride down to here because we ride so much. So it's like we have a destination, we're gone. Speak for yourself. I go, I wake <laughs> yeah. up on Saturday, I go do my deal, get breakfast, go to the beach, whatever. Yeah. yeah. You're 24. Um, I am 24. <laughs> that is true. No, well, but there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, no, yeah. no. And we used to do that as well. Yes. But, but what is we've, funny. We've done less. What What were you going to say? No, I was going to say what is funny is we're on these trips, and not once do I ever get FOMO when my riding group chat is like, hey, we're going to go do this cool. I'm like, sounds great, but. Uh, yeah. We're, okay, we're but cool. here's what I was going to say. We came back off of a 3,000-mile trip, and what did you do? Well, I went for a cruise. It wasn't Did a big ride. I went, I, went, I went for a cruise. Well, these two guys, uh, <laughs> my bike's gone now because I have a new one. But these two guys right here, their bikes were bought in 20... I bought my bike in... August. S- August? Aug- it was after... No, September. I think it was August 31st or something like that. Because it was like a, a week or maybe a couple of days after Sturgis. I am about well, to hit 26,000. Like the... So 26,000 miles, 25,000 miles. So basically, we're not lacking for any riding. No, I mean, but and we did probably ten thousand miles on the Harleys from uh, Carson. Right, yep. right. So once again, speak for yourself. Right. <laughs> well, you got. I got a couple hundred on there before, yeah, I, you know, before I found this rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we got some good comments uh, on Rockford backing you up. You can hear it at night. Eighty-five with a full face helmet. Uh, we got Southeastern Ohio in the house. Uh, nice. Nathan, oh, that's traveling okay. Uh, John Deshek saying, what up? Uh, Bill DeMonch hit 90 or 100 in the noise. Oh, speed, not LC's advancing ears. <laughs> advancing, that's a polite way to say it. Uh, Robin Lady Biker headed that way in 37 days. So awesome. looking forward to the Northwest. Yeah, no you're going to love it. If you need any route stuff, let me know. Um, Northeast Ohio in the house. And then, do you guys ride with any riding apps like Scenic? It's awesome. More making and sharing routes. Uh, I'm going to screenshot that because we've been looking for a good app not only to save our routes but to share them because right now on our blog yeah. section of our website where we do share all of our routes, uh, we use Google Maps, which personally is not my favorite. No. So I'm screenshotting that. Thank Boom. you for that. Um, but just say that again, though, because I think it's important. People know we've ha- we have a lot of people say it'd be great to see a map, but if you go to TulaneLife.com and you click on the blog section, it'll drop you down, hit rides, and then unfortunately the way we've got them set up, you have to scroll through a bunch. Yep. Uh, but you can, you can find your ride. Too. Yep. Yeah. Search you can keywords. find your ride. Uh, and then within that, there's a nice blog, a write-up of what we did, points of interest, places we ate, places we stayed, and then there is a map embedded. So even if you're not on a bike, you're in a car, you could actually take our yep. advice. Yeah. So if you say, it'd be nice if you had a map, we can say, well, we got some we better. Do. we got maps, restaurants, history, right. stories, pictures. <clears throat> whole nine yards. It's just, uh, exactly, whole nine yards. Uh, what else? And we while got? you're out there, you could get your two-lane life socks, or you can get them. These mugs um, uh, are crazy. This is a metal coffee mug, 12 ounces, ceramic. Although the hat the hat will be live tomorrow. The hat will be live. You oh, can yeah. show, me, that, show the hat. Yeah, yeah. Let's see that. This is our new badge hat. We have this in black mesh. Or not mesh. This is black panel this hat. This is a black panel. And then we have a, a black front with a white mesh. Same thing with this. This is yeah. our new badge. Logo. The shirt. We're really stoked on this. In fact, yes. Do that again with your shirt. You see that? Yes. Yo. Become part of the two lane. So right. come come and join us on uh, the two lane life dot com and check out our site. I'm gonna shave my beard off and look uh, probably 20 years younger, just for all you guys. So you know maybe I won't get the uh, senior citizen jokes anymore. <laughs> Why? That's <laughs> good. You've got soft you know, skin. The aging ears. The the old guy. Like you know you look older. And being well, that my but you do are look brown. older. Yes. You look like you're 75 years old. And I'm not. Whoa. So I'm going to shave it off, and I'll be clean. Why? I'll get a collared shirt on, just 
So would you say that that's a universal rule if you shave your beard, you look 20 years younger? Uh, absolutely. Because that would make me four. Yes, you would be a four-year-old right. kid <laughs> editing Benjamin our videos. Button. <laughs> yeah. Benjamin Button, yeah. So, um, oh, this, and by the way, just one other shout-out. We are going to be at Mulholland Harley July whoa, 1st uh, doing our live. So if you're out and about, come check us out. Right. Oh, I, that was a rhyme right there. Robin, you can come to Mulholland Harley. Yeah, come on by. We'll put you on out. the tube for a minute with this. Yes. Um, let's see. We got, trying to scroll through these, we got Whiskey University. I think I almost got heat stroke riding to Oatman. Don't forget to bring water out there. In 114, if it doesn't take long to pass the no, oh, that, you got to well, be hydrated for well, sure, man. We went through there. It was 115, and the next day we were in Colorado in the snow on our way to Sturgis. Yo. But when we were in Needles and, and it was 115, we actually walked into the convenience <laughs> store and asked them if we could walk into their walk-in coolers. They put us to work. And so they, we stock shelves they let in us there. All good. <laughs> hey, can we? Can I have a shot over there? You yeah, know, we, we got we though. Got, uh, we got to come in those cooling vests. We're uh, gonna check uh, those. Yeah, we're out. gonna try those. So for the people that are on live right now, leave a comment. Does Galen need Old Smoky Moonshine, Jack Daniels, Old Number 7, Hendrix Gin, First Special Forces Group 6 Edition Whiskey, Bourbon Whiskey, uh, 90 Proof, or we got the uh, 46. 46 Maker's Mark. What's uh, Monkey? We got Monkey Ball. That's <laughs> what gin is that? as well. Monkey 47. What are we oh. thinking, guys? I don't know. You got five seconds. I'm, five, I'm having my four. Old Smoky, good man. Chilada Clamato. Um, old Smoky. Uh, that is the old, the white moonshine. Oh Lord, death I am, drink. I am sorry, Galen. <laughs> this man is not after your best interest. <laughs> uh, I will not uh, be well, taking a shot. See, at this. everyone else made. Uh, they were saying Jack. They know we're whiskey people, but oh, ninety proof whiskey university. I'll do this that. thing is glued shut. I'll take a 90 for you, whiskey. Well, oh, I got it. Whoa. Um, Whoa. Oh, are you really? Nah. Well, I don't let care. <laughs> um, let's see. What email can I send you Fill pictures from the trip? No, this guy. Um, Come on. Here, smell it. Wow, that's like rubbing alcohol. It's all right. Um, let me get my 90 up in here because... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. To myself, you are. pouring my own self. I'll have one of those too. One of those too. Here, 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 here. I got. I'll cheers. I'll wait for you on that. Let's All see. Right. Don't drink and drive. Hey, just because you never put a uniform on, you have still served by supporting us all but, in the field. Geez. God bless the USA. That is right. We appreciate that. Let freedom ring. Yes, God I bless dig it. The USA. Let freedom ring. I love it. I love. We it. love that. See this right here. I don't know if you can see freedom. this. Freedom. It says freedom right here. So, whoops, sorry. Jeez. Yes, sir. Then we got, well, let's see what cheers go real quick. I got my 90 locked and loaded in hand. Cheers. Brimmer status. Whoa. Ugh. <laughs> Look, it's bubbling. The, oh. Is it eating it it's alive? Eating the foam. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, recovering. Let's see, Franklin Dominguez. Frank. Cheers, cheers brothers. The new Legend Suspension <coughs> is doing great. We'll be calling you all next weekend to purchase the front suspension. Just add the Saddleman Road sofa last night. Oof. Definitely do the front because it'll balance your bike out and it'll sure. make you no more dipping when you're braking. This is Frank up here. Oh, right on. Frank's the one that gave us the, the coins. All right, um, Frank. Nelson, you can send those pictures to Galen at TulaneLife.com, G-A-Y-L-I-N at TulaneLife.com, or what, info if you can't remember What pictures we getting? Uh, pictures from a trip. Okay, cool. So we can post them up, whatever. Like it. Um, let's see. Nelson, just posted some at your Facebook page. Understand the comments of your last post. Gotcha. We are not as active on Facebook. Most of our stuff automatically posts, but we try to... Stay Plus, I got down. hacked while we were on the trip, so I've not signed into Facebook for yeah. like a week. Gotcha. Yeah, you did. If you could DM you the Instagram, hacked. that would be yeah, good. Yeah, if you're an Instagram user, if you DM us, that's great. Um, or include us, you know, put us, tag us in your story, and we'll we'll repost them. Right. Well, I'll tell you what, 90 proof on an empty stomach hits real quick, boys. <laughs> uh, Chris Black, see you all in Sturgis. Uh, Todd says Reaver works well, too. I'm guessing that's a ride app. Yeah. Uh, and then APOC says Reaver is okay, but there's another great app. I'll have to look. Forgot the name. 
shoot us a DM with that. We will need it. You might need some top ramen. I t- already had one today. <laughs> I had real ramen for dinner. Top ramen yeah. is game yeah. over. You can't. No, hold on a minute. Like when I was a kid, top ramen was like 10 or 15 cents a piece. Yeah. It still is. I know. I mean, how do they do that? <laughs> we got because a, you got a whole box all this inflation $5. going on. And well, because it's just like $4. old used plastic, they turn into noodles, <laughs> <laughs> something like that. That's That's what's what's oh, by the way, guy. speaking of that, like our our mesh hat is recycled. It is yes. recycled it's plastic. The, the doing mesh is from bottles. Yes. And the, the Material has been recycled. Material. So we have a recycled hat. Well, we're a green company. Yo. Whoa. We're going to have um, to talk to Ryan about some tax breaks. Here. Franklin Dominguez, I picked up my 2020 Road Glide Limited on the 30th of August and just hit 10K. Jealous nice. of your riding time. Well, hey, those awesome. are still some Love serious that, miles. Um, we're going to do a, a thing, another thing down the road that we'll explain to you maybe next week about uh, rewarding people that have miles like yo, that on their yeah. bikes. Yeah, I got a, a few calls to so make, but tuned. I think it'll be cool. Yeah. Um, then we got the traveler Atlas Obscura has some cool places to visit in all the areas of the country. I think we might have heard about that book. It's a book, or maybe a site. Um, anyway, we'll have to check that out. Derek yeah. B, love your channel. Appreciate Thank you, Derek. Derek. Um, Hook dog, laugh my ass off. I have a GPS on my street glide special, but I still use paper maps. Pick up an <laughs> Indian territory maps at AAA for your different states. Show more of the state maps. Right on. I yeah, like it. that's uh, cool. We got some. Uh, I actually Mystery. carry a little atlas in my bag mm-hmm. in case the GPS went down. Okay. So we should carry a little footnote book. I've got a, we I've got a little atlas that we can dig into <laughs> if we ever had to. Uh, let's see. John or Hook Dog says I need a Johnny's pastrami or a couple of Tito's tacos. Ooh. Ooh. Well, if we had Tito's, I'd drink it. If we had tacos, I'd eat it. <laughs> but Tito's tacos is in yes. Simi Valley. It is. And they so are knows, really good tacos. He knows what he's talking about. Um, yeah. I mean, what else we got for him? We're at 51 minutes. Uh, you know. Well, I think we're pretty good. So what's the 9th? The 29th? The 29th is the Worldwide Shot. And is that June 29th? July. July, July 29th. To kick off Sturgis, we're going to have a shot, a toast, with all of our fans around the world. And because we always talk about, you guys always say, hey, do a shot. So we're going to do it together. You guys are going to document it. You're going to take a little video or a picture. You're going to send it to us, and we're going to share it. And we're going to have a time when we all do it simultaneously. And if you don't drink, it can be whole milk. It can be water, <laughs> right. apple juice. Whatever you want. Uh, this is Heineken a really good zero. point. Right. What's near beer. Uh, yeah, Adam could do the near beer. You right. Know. Or if it's you want. It's just a toast. 100 proof Old Smoky. It's totally up to you. If it's from Australia, Europe. But that's Canada. why this is pretty cool because we've got subscribers from around the globe. Right. So, I mean, some of you may have to be up at one o'clock in the morning when we're doing this, but commit. Well, because we commit, had, my friend, we, commit. Yeah, we had yes. someone send us a little video from a bar they were in doing a shot. Scuba Steve. That was, that was who inspired. Yeah, that's yeah. So who Scuba. Shot. So inspirations from Scuba. Yes. We'll have to let him know this because yes. he he will want to be part of it. Yes, he will. he will be part of it. He will be part uh, of it. And then we got Rich. Really enjoy how you guys show where and what you're eating. Yes, we Thank do you, too. Rich. Yeah, Thank you, Rich. Thank you. So, what are we doing on Featured Fridays? Um, so, Featured Fridays, I will put all of that in the description of this live video, so you can go after we're done uploading, go check it out. But basically. We're going to be featuring you guys and your bikes and your stories with your bikes. And uh, we'll just be posting them up on Instagram, trying to kind of share the share the good times on two wheels. We um, want to hear your stories. We want to hear about your bike, what you liked about it, what, yeah. you, what, you, what was your best trip, what do you call her or him. Uh, whether it's a bar hopper or a tour. We don't care. Yeah. Like yeah, we just, buddy. Whether you're on a BMW, a Honda, whatever, just yeah. give us content. So that we can repost you and help help uh, spread the love in our community. Yeah, right. so one more time. It is FeaturedBikeFriday at gmail.com. Um, just send in a 30-second or less video of you and your bike. You know, your name, your bike's name, year and make, how many miles, your location, story of your favorite ride, whatever you want to do. And we'll let those stack up. And that, you know, that email but, is dedicated to that. But keep it that. to 30 seconds or yep. less so we don't have to trim it. Right. Yes, sir. Um and then that Gmail account is set up right now, right? It is up. It is so ready to go. So if someone wants to do it right now, 
We'll start you posting. Can, you can check it out. Yes. And maybe tomorrow we'll throw someone up. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, you know? Let's see. John Thompson, when are you guys leaving for Sturgis? I think the third. We're leaving the first or the second. Okay. We always go the first week. Yeah, we're, we'll probably or second or third, I think, is what yeah. we're looking at. Um, Gregory, we'll probably get there around the 5th. Um, we have the house the 5th, which is Thursday. Yep. Uh, and then we're probably leaving around the 10th. Right. Cool, cool. Um, Gregory Eckert with some wise words. Wine is fine, but whiskey is quicker. Cheers. <laughs> Suicide is slow with liquor. Yo. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne. Yes, yes. Black Sabbath. Old Jack Daniels, number seven, got me thinking that I'm drinking in heaven. Uh-huh. There you go. Uh-huh. Um, anyways, we are just about at an hour, and what do they need to do? Well, one thing this was really great we glad you guys are all here this was actually fun talking to you and telling you about our trip in yellowstone and all the seven states and 10 days and what we got coming up but subscribe to our website subscribe to our youtube channel tell your friends to subscribe to our youtube channel we just went over 15k we're stoked about that but we want to get bigger stoked about that yeah we want to inspire more people because the more people we inspire you guys inspire us, and it makes us go the distance. Well, we we want to make some incredible trips and footage, and yeah. take take you on the journey with us. And it's what we love. We love doing that. So, um, what do they got to do after they subscribe to our YouTube? Well, if channel? you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for joining. And if you've been with us uh, for a period of time, thank you for that support as well. Thumbs up, ring the bell. We really love comments, and we're sorry uh, on the trip when we got out there when we dropped yep. we had the thumbs up and didn't really comment but like we got we back to do we got back to most of them well today so, i mean probably it's been a good four hours just in comments yeah today. just crazy we like so, to get back to you in real time Yo. so if we're out we're going to try to thumbs up but uh, we always would like to leave a little note back for you as well so thanks for being part of the channel yes sir. yes yes we and dig we got, you guys we dig the community we dig what you're doing so we got two more traveler good time thanks for the fun you provide anytime and we got a good point here. Bill DeMonch, 55 are live, but there's only 35 likes. Mm. We're going to have to get that straight. And very last but not least, let's show them those glove tans. <laughs> Yo. I wore the sleeves. You I'm wore good. the sleeves. Not so bad. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for hopping on, guys. It is 622 on the 24th of June. We just had a great live, and we will see you down the road. Yes, sir. Down the road.